These are the first of our URI Academy students. The mission of First Star is to give rising ninth graders who are in foster care the opportunity to experience a college program, to live on campus, to understand what it takes to go to college, to prepare them academically to be able to go to college, um, and to, I think, raise their expectations for themselves that they should go to college. Each child had to complete the application and go through an interview and really talk about what it would be like for them to come here on the campus of URI and, um, and to be part of this program. So it was, it was a somewhat rigorous process um, and we really looked at kids with a, a range of strengths. Um, we looked obviously at their academic performance but also their creativity, their motivation and their interest in bettering their lives. In a little over four months, we've interviewed over 40 students, met with DCYF workers, met with foster parents, um, tons of conference calls, traveled to LA to meet the director over there, and part of it is interviewing every single student and listening to why they want to become part of the academy. And I tell them, listen, don't tell me what I want to hear. Do you see yourself in college? Yes. If so, why? And they, not only have they embraced it, they've taken it by storm. It kind of shows me that like my future is a big part of my life, and that um, with my parents and stuff, like their history doesn't affect my future. Pay homage though to Dr. Jennifer Francis, who's in the back of the building, the director of DCYF. Without her unwavering support, dedication, and passion, this would not have happened. So I do thank you. Adoption Rhode Island, the Star Academy in Hasbro did a presentation before the uh, president's team at the university uh, a while back. Uh, after the presentation, Dr. Dooley said, uh, we're in. We're going to do this program, and uh, it made sense to me, and it, it, it's, it's only the second program of its type in the country. When I saw the program at UCLA, I just knew URI would be the right place to bring this program, and I'm thrilled that they're the second university to host it. They're in obviously great company with UCLA. Dr. Dooley could not so have been more you. supportive and passionate about this program, and Tom Dugan has been terrific in helping in his team. So I'm so proud that the program is here. I'm so proud to be an alum and to see the good work that's being done by the university for these kids. And we complain about things that are not important. I know I do, whether it's, oh, it's too hot, I don't feel like walking, it's raining, um, I, you know, I need a coffee. These kids have, have had tragedy after tragedy from losing both parents to losing aunts to losing siblings. They wake up every day smiling, wanting to be here. It's an emotional group of kids, uh, and it's had an impact uh, on my staff who have interacted with them. Uh, it's given them a different perspective on, uh, on foster kids uh, as they learn more about them and their stories and their backgrounds and some of the things that they've had to overcome. This program is a really, really powerful program. It kind of, to me, it shows you like foster kids, like, they're different than what you may seem like. There's a head stereotype, and that's not what we are. We're so much more than what it is, and like, you just have to like get to know us. My hope is that they have hope for their future, and my hope is that um, they will connect with all of us and continue to be part of this process and to get the support that they need so that they can believe that they are good kids, that they are kids that can achieve, they are kids that can go to college and that they know we're here to help them. I want to go to college, but in school, in the ninth grade, I was, I was bad, <laughs> like on the honest side, I was bad, but then when I came here, a lot of the, like, a lot of the teachers, there's one staff, Eric and then Matt, they all, like, they all talked to me and helped me, Frankie and all them, so I was like, it kind of got to me now, like since I'm going to the tenth grade, I mean, you gotta mature, so, being bad last year, now that I think about it, it's just, it, it's not worth it. I'm like, wow, I couldn't I just sit here and be quiet like this last year. It showed me that like I actually have to care more about school, so I want to work like harder at school now. I believe the goal of First Star Academy is to provide these young people hope. Hope for their future, hope that they can have a college degree, that they can go on to be productive citizens, that they can beat the odds. I am enthusiastic. I am beautiful. I am beautiful.
I'm I'm fun. I am a singer. I'm happy. I am artistic. I'm funny. I am athletic. I am strong. I am smart. I am independent. I am compassionate. I am unique. I'm Amber, and we are all more than just foster kids.